Magic Stalking is a beautiful film because of one character. However, that one character is not the protagonist. This Hallmark film was released originally in 2015, directed by David Winning, written by Buddy Barron. And the description from IMDb sums it up really well without giving anything away, so I'm just going to read this out. And this says, A young widow's daughter is given a tattered old Christmas stocking at a holiday craft sale, but her mother is skeptical skeptical, skeptical of its magic when it seems to create small trinkets on its own. Pretty simply, um, Hannah, fantastically played by Imogen Tear, is a young girl who receives this old Christmas stocking for free, and all of a sudden it begins to produce items and the first item it produces pertains to something she had that happened earlier that day but the items it produces as the film progresses have more sentimental meaning is the stocking magic or is it pure coincidence that things just keep appearing in it well it's magic you have to believe it but it's magic and I was curious, one of the things that kept me going with this film was wondering what the stocking would produce next. And some of the things were predictable, there was definitely one thing it produced that I had thoroughly expected. But there were a few things that didn't immediately make a lot of sense, and you had to, you know, sit tight and wait for it to be revealed. So I thought that was pretty good. The aspect that I didn't like about this is our protagonist, Lindsay. Brilliantly played by Bridget Regan, I have absolutely no issue with any of the casting or the acting. I particularly liked Iris Quinn as Donna, uh, Lindsay's mother. But Lindsay as a protagonist is not very nice. And I have a problem with the way she treats her daughter because... I mean, it, it's pretty awful because several years before the film is set, she loses her husband, Hannah's father, and she struggled to do Christmas ever since. But she's still not really making much of an effort for her daughter's sake and i know everybody deals with grief differently but it just seems to me like throughout the film she was constantly putting her own needs before her daughter's and that made me really dislike her as a character and the daughter's whole motivation in the film is that she wants a puppy and I have to say there's no real reason why she isn't allowed a puppy there's a, a, a sentimental reason related to the grief as to why she can't have a puppy but again putting her own needs and feelings before her daughters which is never a good character trait in a protagonist so i had a bit of an issue with her obviously i understand where she's coming from but it wasn't easy to watch and it wasn't fun to watch but hannah as a character i thought was absolutely brilliant i really loved watching her drive this story forward. I think Imogen Tear did a fantastic job. Although a lot of Hallmark Christmas films have young actors in them and you know young characters, it's rare that I consider them to be the most likable character and protagonist compared to who it, you know, is being advertised as. So I'm very impressed with that. The film itself I really enjoyed. Um, as I said, the protagonist, at least with Lindsay, not great and it's not so much that she's badly written because she remains true to her personality throughout the film her actions are understandable but she's not an, as nice a, of a character as she could be and that's obviously hindering um, any sympathy or empathy I may feel towards her but Hannah is fantastic Scott as well played by Victor Webster as the potential love interest um, I thought that he was great as well no no real complaints also, there are a couple of puppies in this, and they are so cute. They are so ridiculously cute. Definitely worth a watch if you're looking for a very sweet Christmas film. It will tug at your heartstrings if you like puppies, and if you like Hannah as a character. Uh, she will definitely uh, make you well up a little bit. It's not the best in the world, but it's magical enough, and one that will probably put a smile on your face a few times.